Welcome to the assembly. Hold on, let me not forget my seatbelt. <laughs> yes, my name is Dr. Ngata Komunisi and I'm from South Africa. Hello everyone, I'm Maria from Georgia. Hi, my name is Alison Collar de Beaufort. I'm from the United States. Greetings from Zimbabwe, my name is Tindike Manapara. So my greatest moment was when we read the Global Youth Statement together and we chanted in support of it. Wow! The energy in that room was electrifying. The assembly that really created an opportunity that brings on board youth leaders who share common concern, promote similar actions and speak as a powerful group with one voice. My favorite moment during the assembly was during the second day of the conference when we delivered the youth statement inside the hall full of ministers and delegations from all over the world. My favorite moment from the second World Youth Assembly for Road Safety was getting to meet and network with all the other youth representatives. I was able to learn so much from each of them about their perspectives and ideas, which was simply just inspirational. I tell you, <laughs> the whole thing was really amazing, especially the art from Mohammed, the live art. <laughs> it was really something else, really showed how art can be used to express our problems. The Youth Council was founded on the idea of peer-to-peer -peer education a premise that is heavily supported by the Global Youth Statement, which includes a focus on SDG 4, education. I'm in the health sector, so for me it reminds me and guides me into what things I need to keep focused and it also keeps me encouraged that what I'm doing is so important. This statement has been a powerful statement towards advocating for three-star or better roads, especially around school zones. The global statement, as a key advocacy document, it um, acts as a tool to start conversation with decision makers about safe mobility and its challenges. The global youth statement, the network, the colleagues, friends that we have connected, the knowledge that we have been sharing with each other over the past year has helped me in shape my vision and move ahead with much greater confidence to improve the road safety. I've been able to apply and wait for funding um, that will help me push my course forward in the healthcare sector. One thing we've implemented now one year from the World Youth Assembly is the creation of more chapters. If there was one thing that was to be learned and clear from the workshops, presentations and discussion at the assembly is that there is not just one solution to the issue of road safety. So over the past year, I've also used digital medium to connect with the people or you know, pass on my efforts. I work actively to promote road safety, sustainable urban transport, public transport, walking and cycling, to research, advocacy, education and awareness raising projects in Georgia. I really want to applaud all the other youths and to, to be grateful for all the support we are giving each other. We are really an awesome team. We can do this and together 50 by 30 is very possible. I am so thankful to have gotten the chance to attend the World Youth Assembly and as I mentioned earlier, especially being able to meet all my amazing peers. I met young leaders from many countries around the world who impressed me with their willingness and readiness to fight. It has created a platform for a collaboration and partnership of people tirelessly working towards safety and sustainability. All of us miss each other, I know. It was a short duration but a memorable one. So just, just thinking about some, so still have some of these souvenirs. This is it's totally worthwhile and all over the world we're in this together as youth. We are here to claim our space and make a difference in the world.